I'm Matt from Blue Lab, and today we'll be showing you how to clean and calibrate your Blue Lab pH pen. In this product range, we have the standard pH pen and the soil pH pen. Now, it doesn't matter which pen you have, it's to calibrate in the same way, but there are a few subtle differences in cleaning, which we'll show you. To make the best decisions for your horticultural business, you need to get the best performance from your equipment. To ensure you get the right readings, you need to ensure your instruments are accurate. We recommend you clean your pens every 30 days. The calibration indicator will disappear to remind you that it's time to clean and calibrate again. If you're getting an unexpected reading, it doesn't hurt to calibrate sooner. Here's what you need for cleaning. Blue Lab pH probe care kits contain everything you need to clean and calibrate your pH pen. Let's get started with cleaning the pH pen. For the standard pH pen, begin by simply removing the cap. For the soil pH pen, to remove the cap, unscrew the dibber from the storage cap until you see the gap. Then gently remove the storage cap from the probe. Next, fill a plastic cleaning cup with clean tap water. Add a few drops of Blue Lab pH probe cleaner to the water. For the standard pH pen, swirl the pen in the cleaning solution and take care not to knock the glass probe against the side of the container. That can cause damage to the probe. Take it out of the cleaning solution and give it a rinse with some fresh clean tap water. Make sure no traces of the cleaning solution remain on the probe. For the soil pen, you're going to do the same thing. Stick the end of the soil pen probe in the cleaning solution and give it a good stir. Also make sure to take care and not knock the probe glass against the side of the container because that can cause damage to your probe. Give it a rinse with fresh clean tap water and make sure you remove all traces of the cleaning solution. If your probe requires removal of heavy contamination, use a few drops of Blue Lab pH probe cleaner and a soft bristled toothbrush to gently scrub around the probe tip. For the standard pH pen, simply scrub around the glass probe inside the plastic. For the soil pH pen, scrub around the end of the probe stem. Then, clean the probe tip in some fresh clean tap water. Make sure you remove all traces of the cleaning solution. For the soil pen, do the same thing and rinse the end of the probe stem in fresh clean tap water. Make sure you remove all traces of cleaning solution. Remember, you always need to calibrate after every cleaning. Now let's get started with calibrating the Blue Lab pH pen. Remember that the calibration steps for the standard pH pen and the soil pH pen are the same. Also remember that you should always calibrate starting in pH 7 solution first. Press the power hold button to turn the pen on. Place the probe tip in fresh Blue Lab pH 7 calibration solution. Give the probe a gentle swirl to ensure you've got good contact between the probe glass and the calibration solution. Wait until the rating stops moving. Press and hold the cal button until cal is displayed on the screen. Then release the button. Four small boxes start to flash, indicating the start of calibration. Leave the probe in the solution while the display is flashing. After the boxes stop flashing, you'll see cal displayed on the screen, showing you that calibration is complete. Rinse the probe tip in clean tap water, and then gently shake off any excess water. Next, place the probe tip in fresh Blue Lab pH 4 or pH 10 calibration solution. 
Give the probe a gentle swirl to ensure you've got good contact between the probe glass and the calibration solution. Then wait for the reading to stabilize. Press and hold the cal button until cal is displayed on the screen. Then release the button. Four small boxes start to flash, indicating the start of calibration. Leave the probe in the solution while the display is flashing. After the four boxes stop flashing, Cal will display on the screen, letting you know the calibration is complete. A check mark will be displayed at the bottom of the screen to indicate a successful calibration. It will disappear after 30 days to indicate calibration is required again. After calibration, rinse the probe tip in fresh clean tap water and shake off any excess water. To maintain a reliable pH reading between calibration, the Blue Lab pH pen should always be calibrated to two points. Also remember that you should always start calibration with pH 7 solution first, and then pH 4 or pH 10. Always ensure that your Blue Lab pH pen probe glass tip is kept wet. To store your standard pH pen, check inside the storage cap and look for the foam insert inside the bottom. Check that it's still wet. If it's dry, just add a few drops of Blue Lab pH Probe KCL storage solution to the foam. Then, simply put the cap back on and you're ready to store it. To store your Blue Lab soil pH pen, gently slide the probe cover back on the pen until it touches the bottom. Carefully screw the diver into the storage cap until it's sealed, but not too tight. Check that there's enough KCL storage solution inside the storage cap to fully cover the probe tip when it's closed. If not, remove the storage cap and add a few drops of KCL storage solution and replace the cap. Then you're ready to store your probe. Remember never to store your probes in reverse osmosis or RO, distilled or deionized water. These types of pure water can change the chemistry of the probe glass and cause damage to your probe. Thanks for watching and happy growing.